We begin tonight with the latest innocent victim of Milwaukee's gun violence, 23 year old Jasmine Banks. She was struck by a stray bullet last night. Her kids just feet away in the back seat. Simply the wrong place at the wrong time. Police say she was caught in the crossfire of two people shooting at each other. Rebecca Clough live at Police District 5 where tonight detectives are working to find who did this. Rebecca. Yes, Steve and Katie at a vigil tonight. The family of Jasmine Banks was so overcome by grief, they couldn't even stand. Crying and hugging each other, they fell to the ground, trying to come to grips with the fact that the 23-year-old was killed simply for driving home. Let's get these people off the street. Amen. Amen. A vigil for Jasmine Banks calls for justice. Her friends and family want the people who shot the 23 year old while she was driving down the street turned over to police. Let's stop protecting these criminals and put them behind bars. Surveillance video shows a man with a gun shooting at another person. You see Jasmine's car cross into Center Street before stopping at an empty lot. Two people in the area saw it happen. Me and another friend ran over here and she was trying to resuscitate her. I saw the young lady in the car and she she just wasn't moving and I just tried to talk to her and hug her and say, come on, baby girl, hold on, hold on. As Crystal Scott tried to give CPR, the other woman realized there were children inside still strapped into their car seats. I saw the three year old kind of trying to peek over the front seat. I was trying to shield her eyes. Jasmine was driving her friend, a three year old child and her own five month old son when she was killed. Now that child will grow up without his mother. We love you, Jasmine. Police have not arrested anyone for the shooting. The family has a donation page set up for Jasmine's funeral expenses. Reporting live outside District 5, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4.